you want to make sure that what you're doing is actually working. Not only do you feel better, but in black and white. This is really cool because then you can actually show it to your family, friends, and your medical doctor. Why should you learn how to read your blood test? Do you feel exhausted, stressed, or anxious? How about chronic pain or immune system stress? Does your doctor tell you that your labs are normal, but you still have symptoms? Take back control of your health and become your own advocate. The person ultimately responsible for your health is you. We want to make this information simple and easy to access so you can make an informed decision about your health. Why? So you can not only improve your health, but thrive. To be there for your children, your grandchildren, your family. And not just be there. Be an active participant. Do the things you love. Improve overall quality of life. You have to be the one to make the changes. For more information, visit our website at SheanNaturalHealth.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Sheehan from Sheehan Natural Health Improvement Center. Today we're going to talk about why we use functional blood chemistry. In our office, one of the things, one of our diagnostic tools that we use a whole lot is what's called functional blood chemistry. And people always say, well, why do you do that? And so I'm gonna go over the reasons why we do that. But just to give you a little bit of background, what functional blood chemistry is, is we take standard labs that are run every day in doctor's offices and we use them to assess everything from blood sugar, immune function, vitamin mineral deficiencies, thyroid function, adrenal function, everything like that. If you know what you're doing, you can get a lot of information on everything, okay? And we find that blood testing is one of the best ways to do it. Um, so here are the benefits of why we use it. First of all, it gives quantifiable information. Like a lot of the times when you look on the internet, people will say, oh, I think I have an adrenal problem or I have a blood sugar problem or I, have, um, I think I have a vitamin deficiency. When you run blood tests, it will give you in black and white whether you do, you don't, and how bad it is. That's really cool because you can actually do follow-ups later and you can compare it. We do that all the time with our patients. Um, in the beginning, we follow up more often, like every four months, and then once people are better, we follow them up every year. What's cool about this is like sometimes you'll see that, yes, people are just, everything's improving, Sometimes you'll see that something is sticking, and sometimes you'll find that um, something is getting worse for some reason, and you gotta figure out why. So that's a really good reason why we use functional blood chemistry. It's quantifiable information. Another reason why we use it is, it, it kinda takes, let me go back to this one. <laughs> it kinda takes the guesswork out of things. I mean, before people would have, say, blood sugar symptoms, or let's say they had Lyme disease symptoms, or they thought they needed vitamin D, blood testing will show you if you do or don't, okay? And then you can tell you how you're doing over time. They're widely av available. Uh, we use what's called professional co-op, which is a co-op to order our blood test, and they are contracted through LabCorp. There's a LabCorp in every major town and city in America from what we, we can tell. So there's one downtown here, there's one out in Coatesville, there's, uh, there's at least one in Harrisburg, there's one in Reading, they're all over the place. So as long as you can drive, you can get to one. Yes, even our Amish patients use it all the time. They're accepted by virtually everybody, especially family, friends, and medical professionals. Since we do uh, functional medicine, alternative medicine, holistic medicine, whatever you wanna call it, a lot of people say, well, that's kind of woo-woo, it's kind of wacky, it's kind of crazy, but I will tell you, when you show a person in black and white with blood tests, okay, you don't sound so woo-woo, you don't sound so crazy. And when you're trying to explain it to your doctor, you're trying to explain it to your family and friends, and we actually give people a report that says, this is what the problem is, it takes the woo-woo effect out of it. It makes you look a whole lot more credible. And also, quite honestly, I like it because it verifies what I do with muscle testing, okay? Um, it's accessible and affordable. Like I said, they're in every major town and city in America, as far as I can tell, and since we go through a co-op, it's dirt cheap. I mean, for a full, huge panel, 
which I have never seen a medical doctor run as thorough of a panel as we do. It's, I think, $291. That is dirt cheap. Follow-ups are even cheaper because sometimes we can isolate little parts of it. And so it's very, very cheap. This is very, very important because a lot of people right now have high deductible plans uh, or else they don't have um, labs covered or something like that. So it keeps it very, very cheap. So you'll get the, the, the health care that you need at a price that's very, very affordable. I myself get them done multiple times per year. Okay, I have to pay for them too. Um, you can compare results over time to see progression or regression. We have a number of people come in here with like chronic Lyme disease, uh, chronic thyroid disorders, blood sugar disorders, uh, vitamin mineral deficiencies, adrenal dysfunction, all sorts of things. And you can actually get somebody's blood tests. You can do a course of intervention, okay? And then you can retest them and you can see how somebody gets better. I do that all the time. In fact, what we do is we take beginning labs and then we do um, um, the, what we call reevaluation labs and follow-up labs. And we put them right next to each other. So we can show a person's progress per time over time or if they're going backwards. This is very, very important. You want to make sure that what you're doing is actually working. Not only do you feel better, but in black and white. This is really cool because then you can actually show it to your family, friends, and your medical doctor. And six, overall great tool to assess functional health. Um, like one of the things that we do, or one of the other primary things that we do is what's called muscle testing. Muscle testing is really cool. It'll show things that you never knew that you even had problems with. The problem is a lot of people cannot get behind that, the faith behind that. And they're like, I don't know if I believe that. Uh, blood testing makes it in black and white. There it is, right there. I mean, and it's, you know, textbook case. We have textbooks to uh, back up what we do. Um, the other thing is that people will say, well, like a, a common thing is a lot of people think they have Lyme disease. Some people do, some people don't. Um, but it, it, it will show you in black and white whether that's actually the real problem. Like I'm thinking of one case right now. I had a person say that they had all the signs and symptoms of, of Lyme disease. When you actually looked at his blood test, what he did was he had a lot of cardiovascular stress and he was having trouble getting blood to his tissues. Um, I had another person with uh, chronic pain and when you looked at his case, you showed, or he showed that he actually had what's called iron overload. Iron overload is when you have too much iron in your system and it causes inflammation. And there's a variety of different reasons why that, ha that happens. Um, but it's a great tool at showing in black and white what's wrong with your health. Okay? Thanks for joining me.